Well, election related contributions, big spending items, and the oh so controversial state flag debate. Those are some of the questions you'll see on the ballot when you go vote. There are five referendum questions appearing on all main ballots, and here to walk us through each one is political expert and UMaine main professor Jim Melcher. Thank you so much for being here this morning. You're very welcome. Nice to be here. Yes. So let's go through these top to bottom, starting with question one. This has to do with contributions to political action committees that spend money to support or defeat candidates. It calls for setting a $5,000 limit. Mm -hmm. What can you tell us about that? Well, it, it's certainly an effort to try and limit super PACs, that a lot of this is a response to the Supreme Court rulings in Citizen United, where people can form groups that can bypass traditional limits on donations. So very wealthy people can make very large donations that they wouldn't be able to to an individual candidate or through a PAC. And so some of the people behind this, St. Lawrence Lessig at Harvard is one of them, are trying to make this a test case. Uh, I think it's going to win easily in Maine. People are worried about money and politics across the political spectrum. But this is likely to wind up if it passes before the Supreme Court. It's essentially trying to get the Supreme Court to re-examine the rulings they've had that have put the super PAC movement uh, into action. A question, too, now, it's a long one, which might confuse some people. A lot of these referendums do, by the way. Uh, but it's basically, it's a bond issue asking people if they're in favor of $25 million that would go towards life sciences and biome uh, biomedical technology. So if this passes, what happens? Well, well, don't worry if it's too confusing. I confuse my students at UMaine <laughs> Farmington all the time. Um, this is, a, this is the uh, $25 million bond issue. Money would largely go to the Maine Tech Institute in Brunswick, and they would be allocating this for research and development, uh, sometimes in traditional fields like forestry and agriculture, but other things like biosciences, um, composite materials, and so on. So it's money for them to try and research things that might become financially lucrative for the state, things where it might be too expensive for the private sector to do the research. Uh, so it's money to try and find new technology that could help the main economy. Uh, question three is another bond issue. This one asking for approval of $10 million. It is money that would be used to restore historic buildings owned by the government or nonprofits with money only being doled out if there's a 25% local match. Mm -hmm. What can you tell us about that? It's one? not unusual to have matches on some of these programs. Um, one thing we had at Farmington years ago was there was a statewide bond vote about funding uh, buildings on college campuses, and we needed a new education center. We were asked to come up with half the money to make that go forward. We did. So the match is not unusual uh, in that sense. Historic buildings uh, often are expensive for upkeep. Uh, it's the kind of thing bonds go for. They go for these kind of capital projects. And Mainers tend to really like history, care a lot about history, which I'm sure we'll talk about when we get to the flag in a minute or two. Um, so uh, nonprofits are also part of that, as you mentioned. Uh, so it would be that kind of reconstruction and, and fixing things up. And the matches, an interesting, you know, it's a test. Are you really into this enough to make that go? I think that's a valuable idea to see if the communities really care enough about this to make them go. Let's move on to question four now. Yet another bond issue asking for $30 million. And this one seems to have a lot of support. The money would go towards trail design, development, and maintenance statewide, not only for hiking trails and running trails, but, but uh, snowmobiles as well. And ATVs yeah. and other sorts of things. In fact, the bond says, I think 25% has to be for ATV, snowmobile trails, motorized trail use. 25% has to go for non-motorized, and then 50% to be shared. Lots of trails I go hiking on are shared by ATVs and snowmobilers and cross-country skiing and so on. The one place where that gets to be controversial is rail advocates sometimes don't like these kinds of trail efforts. They see it as an obstacle to restoring passenger rail service. Some of them were very unhappy uh, with the trail that was built through Washington County on old rail land. They hoped would be redeveloped as a railroad. Uh, but a lot of other people seem to be very much in favor of it. I think it's smart to have it set up so that it benefits motorized and non-motorized. Sometimes those are the same people, but a lot of times they're not. And Mainers like to get outside, like to do those sorts of things. I think this is likely to pass. I think all of the moms are likely to pass. Well, now here's the big talker. Question 
five, all about the state flag. Yep. Bottom line here, should the current state flag be replaced with a version that includes the pine tree and North Star, also the uh, pine tree flag, also mm -hmm. known as. So, yeah, your it's thoughts? gotten more discussion than the other four combined, yeah. I, I would say. And yesterday I was having a class in Farmington where I was trying to get my students to talk about the presidential election, and a bunch of them were more interested in their views on the flag. Uh, poll out this morning uh, shows that it's well behind. Uh, that was done by the Bangor Daily News uh, and another group. Um, there are a lot of people that don't like the idea of changing something they're familiar with, they grew up with. Uh, it would not change the state seal. The, the sailor and the farmer would still be on the state seal. A lot of people think Maine's flag blends in too much. If you ever go someplace where you see all the state flying, which one of those blue flags with the state seal is the main flag. And a state like Arizona or Ohio has a flag that really pops, that stands out. And some people would like think this would be good marketing for the state of Maine, but other people see this as change for the sake of uh, sake of change. But I think the marketing angle is an important one. I think it would be a useful uh, symbol for the state, but you know, it's it's probably not going to make it if the current polls um, are accurate. Wow. Yeah, we'll keep you posted on that. Hey, let's talk about the referendum. Sometimes I go in and read some of the referendums. Sure. I'm a college educated person. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. However, sometimes I read some of these, unless I was doing the news and reading about these all the time, I would go into a voting booth and go, what the heck does this even mean? And they're even more complicated when you look at all the details. If you're wonky, and if you're the kind of person that reads all your end-use license agreements for Apple or whoever, you can have even more fascinating legalistic things. One thing that's fortunate is the Secretary of State's office on their website comes up with summaries of, of the bonds, explains some of those. There are other sites like Ballotpedia that do a good job. Most of the state papers have run them, but you're right that they're they're really pretty Byzantine and they get pretty confusing. But I think there's enough information available. If somebody's really worried about it, they can research it. But you're not the only one that finds them confusing. <laughs> Trust me. And I would never say you're not the sharpest. <laughs> me, both of you seem like very sharp knives in the well, shed to I me. I feel better, sharper now after having oh, you here you with know, us. You know, exactly. Yes. Got my whetstone out yeah. here. <laughs> get, the, get it all going. Thank you yeah. so much for your insight. We appreciate it. You're very welcome. Hopefully they'll make it a lot easier after listening to you when they yes. go into the voting booth. Hopefully so. Yeah.